Hi, it's Miss Shywall, and I'm going to tell, show you how to uh, create the webbing on your Dreamcatcher. So to do this project, we're going to need your um, embroidery hoop, about five or six arm lengths of string, measuring tape, um, some paper dream beads that you should have made already, maybe other beads or charms or any items that you would like to incorporate into your dream catcher, and a piece of uh, white, white chalk. So, um, to start our webbing, um, I'm just going to measure around this with our um, measuring tape and the diameter is 26 inches so if we divide that by 8 for instance it would be about 3.3 3 inches um, divided into 3.3 .3 inches so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here because I want to use those measurements. So that's like 3.3 .3 here. And you will be having brown lace already um, on your hoop. So that's the reason I'm using white chalk because that's probably what will show up for you and it doesn't have to be exact but just a way to kind of save a little time and uh, mark off okay hmm. Okay, so I've marked off eight individual um, areas, and the first thing I want to do is uh, make a square knot. So the way you make a square knot is um, you start with uh, a piece on each side. You cross the left over the right. You have something like that. Okay, and I'm going to pull it. I'm going to pull it. Uh, here actually this piece isn't long enough so I'm going to need to make that longer okay all right and then I am going to pass the right over the left and the reason we call this a square knot is because it looks kind of square. If it looks like that, it's right. And this knot is very unlikely to come undone. So it's a pretty strong knot. So I'm going to start with a square knot with my web. And I'm going to pull the string across like this. And draw it towards the back of the hoop and pull it through the front. Okay, I'm going to keep going here. Pull it towards the back and draw it through the front again, back through this. Um, loop we've made here. Oop, oop, be careful with your uh, string because it can get knotted very easily. Over to the next mark.
Okay, so I've brought the string back into the loop in case you haven't gotten that already. So I don't want to just loop around like this and like this and like this. Okay, you have to... Ugh. Kind of long here. Like I said, you have to bring the string back through this loop again. And I'm trying to keep it tight, but in the end, if you you can pull it all tight in the end. So if you can't keep it tight, don't worry about it. Alright, so we're getting toward the end here, and when you get toward the end, you're going to ask yourself, oh, well, uh, when you tie the last one, you're going to ask yourself, what do I do next? So what you do next is, you keep going. So now, you push this string under the first loop that you made. Oh no, my knot came out. Okay. I had two strings together because um, my first string was too short, so I'm just gonna under and over under and over under over so you keep going around like this keep going And if it's kind of loose, don't worry, because when you get to the very end, you can pull, 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 and it will all pull together again. And don't worry if it's not completely even, because every dream catcher is unique. So as you get toward the center, the, um, the little shapes of the web here are going to get smaller and smaller. And I don't know what has happened here. I'm just going to keep doing it. Looks like something went wrong, but I'm just going to keep going just for the sake of uh, demonstration. So the first time you do this, this is going to be an experiment, okay? You're going to need to re take it all out again after the first time because you just need some practice. The second time you do it, you can add some beads and uh, I'll explain that to you next time. 
as you can see, it's getting smaller and smaller. Okay, so as you're nearing the center, you want to leave a hole in the center, not too big, but you want to leave the hole in the center, which is where the um, good dreams are going to come through, as they say in the, um, in the stories. So here I have a, I think that's a good enough, if I pull tightly, it's all going to come together. And like I said, something went wrong here, but um, this is only your first try. And um, so you can fix anything that went wrong the second time. And you can even do a third time if you want. Like I said, this is, this is practice. You have to practice to get it right. Don't settle for the first thing that you've done. Keep going until your craftsmanship is really good. So I'm going to tie a, um, a knot in here. To hold that tight. And um, it looks like these are very uneven. I guess you could try um, moving your strings around a bit if you need to. Anyway, so that's my first try. And then um, what I'd like to do is I will take this out again and try one more time. And the second time I'm going to add some beads which we have already created and um, I'll show you how to do that next time, either video or in class. Okay? Alrighty. Bye-bye.